this is a video to show you how I did a club car DS electric to gas conversion. This is what it looked like when I took the body off to go scrap the batteries and start stripping down for my gas engine. This is what the motor looked like when I bought it for Harbor Freight, the 420cc Predator. As you can see, I got to take off a lot of parts. After I took the gas tank off, the air filter, and the muffler, I threw away the air filter and muffler because it's useless. And I ordered a side mount air filter low profile to go under the seat, so I want everything to fit under the seat. As you can see, I set it off in there just to figure out how I'm going to mount this thing because the frame is so narrow on an electric golf cart versus a gas club car. The club car gas is a little wider framed than an electric. And another problem I've got, it's all aluminum. So it's lighter, but it makes it hard to mount the gas engine with I can't weld the metal to the aluminum, so I have to bolt everything in. In this picture here, you can see I had to cut out with a battery, held up the batteries, I had to cut this out and put them, and I have to bolt in the motor plate. As you can see, where I cut out, what I cut out for the battery for the batteries, and, and put my motor plate down, and from got to mount it. Now, if you notice in the all four corners, there's holes. I'm going to have to drill aluminum to bolt in my motor plate. My motor plate is three eighths of an inch thick. It's heavy, and that's why I wanted it. So after after I got my motor mounted in, I noticed I had to grind the frame a little bit to fit the clutch because the clutch would hit the frame. As you can see, it's, it's cut it out right here and it's barely touching. So I have to grind it just a little bit more to make it clear so the motor will sit flat and level. As you can see here, I'm, I'm getting ready from my jack shaft. I'm going to drill my hose. I left, I didn't take a picture of it, I don't know why, but the blocks you see, I'm gonna to have to weld them on top of a two inch channel that I'm gonna to have to bolt under the motor plate to stick out the back to hold the jack shaft up so I can make my drivetrain and I will show you that in a later picture. Here you can see I've got my jack shaft mounted somewhat to a test fitting. And you notice that over here on the torque converter or the clutch drive or you wanna call it, it's a little close to the head so I actually have to grind the head a little bit so when that thing swells out, it's going to, it'll hit the head, but not much. So just little fins, I'm going to have to grind out, but everything else looking great. Now I've got my belt on, my jaft shaft pretty much, and now I'm working on my, sh my electric motor shaft, on my electric motor. Now, I gutted my electric motor and got the shaft out of it. It is a pain in the butt strip that shaft and motor. But it's not too bad, as long as you've got a big press and a little patience. Here's a side view of it, of me mounting the clutch in the drivetrain. Still a lot more work to be done. Here I'm test fitting a body. If you can notice, I've got a different body than what I had on there because the people I bought it off of cut it up to nothing. So I had to go to go to an old, old golf cart shop and he sold me a body pretty cheap. So I'm just test fitting to make sure everything fits under the seat. As you can see, I've mounted my gas tank to the side. I made a little, a little easy mount the bolt in to the aluminum frame so I can spawn my gas since I don't want it gravity fed. So I'm going to have to get me a fuel pump and melt the fuel pump, a post fuel pump, to feed the engine. Here I met my fuel pump with my own top motor plate that I made myself. I'm getting ready to fire it up. If you notice I have a header on it right there but I'm going to later change that because it's too loud. I want my stuff quiet. This is my first startup. Don't sound too bad to, for the first time. Notice my chain has too much slack in it. So I'm gonna have to adjust my chain. You notice also that my clutch is put on backwards. I tried it that away, but found out I had it backwards. As you can see, 
I'm getting ready, getting ready to mount a small muffler on to make it even quieter. And believe me, it is really quiet now. Now I showed you all my other pictures that of how I done it. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth of how I did it because I left some stuff out. You see behind me, that's my finished product. So I'm going to flip it around, come over here, and give you a quick tour. As you can see, I mounted my key on the dash here so I can start it on the dash like a car. You look down here, I got my choke, so I'm going to pull my choke out. Turn it over. thing that put my choke cable in that makes it pretty slick I wanted to put it over here but it went right into the motor so I couldn't use it Let's turn it off I'll set my brake now I'm gonna show you my uh, how I did my jack shaft let me climb underneath there as you can tell I left it yellow Hold my jack shaft up, bolts right under the motor plate. And it sandwiches in between the motor plate and the aluminum in the car. It made it real strong. And you come back, and, and that's how I mounted my, my jack shaft plate. So it's it wasn't that bad. It's just that everything is you gotta bolt it in. Here I'm gonna climb a little under and show you my muffler. Look my tailpipe sticking out. Make that trick quiet, tucked underneath high, not gonna drag the ground. On the other side of the engine, you see I got my my choke cable, pretty simple, little air breather. Then I got my pulse pump hooked up to my valve cover. So looks pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job. If you have any questions. Now I'm going to take it for a test drive just to show you how freaky fast this thing really is.
And you can see it's, it's, it's pretty fast. It'll do 32 miles an hour with just me on it. It'll do 26 miles an hour with me and my wife on it. Or the wife and I, I should say. But other than that, it gets a hell of a gas mileage. Great, and I can cruise, cruise around the neighborhood in style.